Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with uh, some new products. I was thinking that I was more stocked up on a couple of things and I actually really wasn't. So I ended up over at Target in the middle of a snowstorm trying to replace a couple of things and then I saw the new stuff that was out and so you know what happens there. So I thought I'd go ahead and get started and I'd show you some of the new stuff that I just got. So um, I did pick up the Maybelline, the Superstay um, C Plus 24 Hour Skin Tint. I got mine in 102 and you can see a little bit of shimmer in the bottle but when I got it on my skin I'm not seeing any shimmer at all. Um, nothing that's just sort of, yeah, I'm not seeing any shimmer there. So um, again, I do have mine in 102 and I could have gone up a shade or two. They just, uh, they didn't have it. So I went with 102. Um, I did go ahead and pick up a Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop over at Target. And this is shade 10. And so that's what I have on under my eyes today. And um, so far, um, I, I think I'm going to like this Maybelline one. I didn't have, yeah, it didn't come off as too glowy. That was the only thing, you know, I was going to wondering if the formula, since it was supposed to have some glow to it, was going to be, you know, really greasy. And that's not what I'm finding. Um, it's light. It's light to medium. I put on two coats and I brought it up to about a medium. So, um, yeah, that's what I did there. On the lips, um, I do have some new stuff as well. Um, I do have the Hard Candy and this, their lip gloss color is my type. And it's a plumping lip gloss. And then I did go ahead and pick up one of the e.l.f. Uh, lip oils. And so that's what I have on top. It's a nice formula. It really... is really plush. It doesn't feel like one of the lip oils where, you know, you would swear that you're just putting a cooking oil on your lips kind of things. It feels really plush and full and, well, uh, anyway, that's the way that these two look together. And I think it came out pretty. I really do. The, um, the only, um, product that's a little bit concerning to me at this point is the e.l.f. The blush, uh, for some reason on me, it just sort of kind of went more of a coral than a dusty rose. And so here's the uh, Joe foot that you get. And as far as the swatch, you, oh, another thing, you only need a very little, a little tiny bit of this, and I did put on too much, and then I had to do the whole uh, taking it down with the foundation kind of thing. But anyway, so this is what it looks like, and then when you blend it out, try not to blend it out, or blend it out all the way. I mean, this is... To me, that's an orangey coral more than it is a dusty rose. I mean, if we really want to blend it out to a sheer, that's kind of what it looks like when it's sheared out. Um, and actually, when it is sheared out, it does look more of a rose color than it does before you shear it out. But it's still, at least on me, it's going off orangey. Um, so it really is turning into a coral on me. Um, but again, that might just be me. Uh, the finish I really like. I think it um, has a nice sheen to it. I did go ahead and put a little bit of highlighter on top. So at the Super Highlight by Relove Revolution in Rose. So that's the color that I have on there. Uh, let's see, what else did I do here? Um, New products. I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Lash Extender. This was one of the products I needed to replace. And it's a Tubi Mascara. Um, I haven't really even worn it for a full day yet. I'm doing uh, first impressions, first looks, first, you know, 
just getting stuff out of the boxes kind of thing. Do have the Essence Thick and Wow on as far as brows and caramel blonde. And then as far as what I have on the eyes, the Jewels and Gems palette by Odin's Eye. It's been out for about six months. It's new to me. And uh, let's see, I did go ahead and put this uh, pretty teal on the lid. I also used it as an eyeliner. I used uh, this, and it's black with silver shimmer in there, and I put that on the crease. Um, I did put some of this really pretty mauve pink, light pink, on the inner corner, and I put this duochrome on the inner corner as well, and I mixed it with some of the pink. So this duochrome is a gold to a pinky orange, and then I put some of the pink in there as well. and. Um, Again, I have this uh, matte on the lid, and then I put this duochrome on the lid as well. And with the Odin's Eye, all of their, um, any of their uh, colors that have shimmer in them have a lot of shimmer in them. That's one of the main differences that I would say between Odin's Eye, um, and Odin's Eye is out of Sweden, I think, and then um, most of the formulas that I'm really familiar with, and this new purchase, so far I'm really liking it. The stain power on it is amazing, and here's the way that it turned out. So that's the way that that looked, and... Uh, like I said, I haven't even worn it for a full hour yet. I didn't have problems with any of the formulas um, as far as putting them on. I did, um, the only concern I had at all was that this is pulling a little orange on me. Um, let's see, what else did I do? The Physician's Formula Butter Glow and Translucent. And this is a repurchase that I actually got a little earlier. A really good finishing powder if you're looking for one. And it's a baked formula. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, I forgot one more thing. What I did have in my stash that I didn't have to replace was I had the Milani Make It Dewy um, setting spray. And so that's what I'm using right now. I've been going through setting sprays really quickly. Here, I'm hoping ColourPop restocks their Glisten Up. It's part of Fourth Ray, which is their skincare line, but I'm really have, hoping that it comes back because last couple of times I've checked, I haven't been able to get it. Um, and just to tell you again, I'm not sure what the shade name is on this, but it's this lip oil is feeling nice and cushy really nice and cushy. It, um, instead of being that really thin formula where it just soaks in right away and mm -hmm, it feels like a gloss. It's nice. So um, first impressions are that I'm liking everything and I will get back to you on how things are working once I start really wearing them for a full day kind of thing. So uh, I hope that you're having a great, a great day and um, yeah, I guess I officially probably need to take down my holiday stuff now. And I'll be doing that pretty soon. But until then, we'll enjoy it for a little bit longer. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.